Hello MMA fans, Grandmaster Ted Gambardella here with some upsetting news. The great Cal Sonnen has tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. What a bummer. After coming within two minutes of completely destroying Anderson Silva and emerging as the greatest trash talker in the history of the UFC and someone who can actually back it up, he's about to become a big loser. Because Kale Shannon has come crashing down after getting tested positive for PEDs. What a disgrace and what a fall from grace. Sonnen was being set up by the UFC as the new face of the UFC. With his good looks, all-American pedigree, great filing, his great fighting style, and his unbelievable trash talk. Some of his one-liners are just unbelievable. You know, he said about GSP he would take his... $3,000 suit, his $300 haircut, and his $3 girlfriend and kick his butt. And he even called out Brock Lesnar. 275 pounds of Brock Lesnar's. Now it appears that he's just another phony who used PEDs to make it to the top and actually cheated to dominate Silva. Didn't do it with skill, but did it with a pill. What a bummer. Here's the bad news as reported by the California State Athletic Commission, George Dodd. Sonnen received his notice yesterday, and he also pointed out that uh, no one else in the UFC fights on that day tested positive. So things are looking bad for Sonnen, but he's not the first MMA fighter, famous MMA fighter, to get tested positive. Sean Shrek, Hermes Franca, Ken Shamrock, and even the great Hoist Gracie have tested positive for PEDs. And let me tell you, if you don't know why these guys are doing that, PEDs are so easy to get and so hard to quit. They give you twice the results with half the work. But the bad effects can last for months, even years. And unfortunately for some, if this report does not get overturned, the bad effects will last a lifetime for him. So all you MMA fighters out there, you just can't take PEDs and fight. And for all of you Mayweather fans, who don't seem to understand that if Pacquiao was taking PEDs, it would be found in the test, even if he quit three months before the fight, not two hours before the fight. You, you just can't beat the test, folks, so don't take the PEDs. There's lots of good legal stuff you can take that you won't get in trouble for and that won't screw up your body. This is a real bummer to me because I really like Cal Sonnen and I wish that uh, maybe this is overturned and just an overzealous report. I'll let you know. This is Grandmaster Gambadella. See you next time.